Hey broskies, what's up? It's Sona and that's right. Today I'll be redesigning more of your gotcha OCs because it is so so fun and you all have such cool characters. Also like for part 3 and next part will be in my discord server so go join in description. Anyways, let's do it! My first OC that I'm redesigning is Rin from Artistic Animator. Well I can definitely see her artistic, you have a very cool OC. Rin is a ghost who helps lost people find their way using their tail. The tail is basically a light and a map. Rin does a lot of nature sketches, mainly forest sketches, and Rin also has a ghost cat that is gray with white stripes all over it. I love this character so much, their design is so cool, and honestly, at first, I wasn't going to do this simply because I didn't know how to make this better than it already is. But after a while of thinking, I came up with some pretty cool ideas. Obviously, the tail is what sold it for me, okay? It's such a cool concept. I've never seen a lamp as a tail before, but now I have and I love it. And right off the bat, just looking at Rin, they kind of seem like a more common collected character. Character. I mean, the person even mentions how they like to do a lot of sketches and they also have a ghost cat and I feel like that's a lot of stuff that a calm person would do. I imagine they're in a dark forest setting where the person can't see but Rin uses their tail to light up the forest. And since there isn't much to do in the forest, Rin is probably just sketching the trees that they're looking at. Also, is it just me or does it seem like most of the time artists always have a cat? Since Rin guides lost people, I think it makes more sense for their design to be a little more bright. I know they already have a tail lamp and all that great stuff but at the same time their suit is very dark and their hair is also really dark and I just feel like everything could be brighter. I ended up putting those little squiggly things surrounding Rin directly on their head. I think it looks cooler. It's like a second set of ears but it's just like their hair is on fire. <laughs> it's really cool looking. I also made their tail more natural looking kind of like it's in the shape of a lamp but it's not exactly a lamp. It's still their regular tail and then I put a giant blue flame in the center as well as fire speckles around it to make it look ultra cool. Since I imagine Rin to be more laid back, I also made their tie not really neat. I put it over their shoulder like it's just thrown on there. In the original, their outfit does look a little more fancy in detail. I wanted to make it more simple. I made the jacket unbuttoned and also longer like a coat. One side's kind of just falling off the shoulder. Again, just very relaxed person. I gave Rin a sketchbook with a pencil so that they can do their sketches and I also put their ghost cat crawling on their arm. I put some glowing at the bottom of the coat in the pants again just to make it more lit up so that any lost person who comes across Rin can see them better because they're a ghost. I also made their skin a little bit more pale. Just because it would fit Rin's personality, I decided not to give them shoes. And I know I'm really bad at drawing feet. It looks really wonky, but I think it also looks kind of cute. But um, I'll work more on my feet art later. Wait, that sounded weird. Anyways, yeah, Rin is complete. Just floating in the air like a ghost, chilling. Thank you so much for your submission, artistic animator. I hope you like how Rin turned out and I had so much fun drawing them. All right, next character is Bia from Oakley. Oakley says, I really like gotcha characters and this is mine. Her name is Bia, she, her. She loves colorful and vibrant stuff and she works in an arcade and she loves it because colors are everywhere. She also loves video games. She doesn't really have a backstory, she's just cute. All right, first off, I gotta say, I love how enthusiastic Oakley is about this. They seem really excited about this character and I am too. I Me, mean, just look at this design. It is so adorable, I love it so much. I love the colors in this outfit. They're literally my three favorite colors, pink, blue, and yellow. I know the creator said that Bia works at an arcade, but at first glance, she kind of just looks like a gamer girl, so that got me thinking, what if she was a mascot at the arcade? Because at least with the arcades that I've been to, they usually still wear a pretty plain outfit for the workers. But since Bia is so full of life and energy, I think it only makes sense that she would work as a mascot there. I don't know of many arcades that have a mascot, but hey, Chuck E. Cheese does, so it works. So since Bia works at the arcade, I still wanted to make sure you can kind of tell that she's an employee there, so I did give her a little name tag on her overalls. A little nitpick I had with the original design, I'm not really sure what's going on with her shirt area. Another little collar thing is usually on Japanese sailor uniforms, but then it looks like she has a crop top on top of her regular shirt, and I don't really know what's going on, okay. But either way, I wanted it to look more like an actual uniform, because she is a worker after all. So I made the overalls pull 
pull up all the way up to her chest area so it's like longer, kind of like a dress but it's not at the same time. And then I turn the t-shirt that she has underneath into a short sleeve hoodie just because it gives off more gamer vibes. And instead of her having those star sunglasses, I turn them into star headphones and I think it looks super super cute. I also put these little star boppers on top, kind of like that Roblox hat, as well as some little antennas on the headphones. In the original, she does have star pupils but I just made her entire iris into a star as you can see. And then she's in this cute little pose where she's like, hello, welcome to the arcade. Something really cool I added was I put a bunch of video game pins on her overalls to show that she's really passionate about video games and I also put some gamer hair clips in her hair. On the overalls you got Pac-Man, Space Invaders, Ring Toss, and a random pixelated heart. Her overall buttons also are stars. And since she loves playing games, I think it would only make sense for her as a mascot to also participate in them with the other customers. She loves having fun with them, so I gave her the strength hammer, you know that arcade game where you take the hammer and you smack the button and see how high it goes. I just thought it would be really cute if she was holding that, so I gave her that in her hand. I mostly kept her skirt and socks the same, and since she loves colors, in her hair I did add some colorful hair streaks. It just makes so much sense for her character. Even though she works there, since she is the mascot, she can get away with a lot of dress code stuff. Lastly, it didn't show her shoes in the original, so I kind of just gave her these shoes with a variation of stars and sparkles just matching the rest of her outfit. I am confident if Bia was at an arcade, everyone would love her. Chuck E. Cheese would go out of business. Thank you, Oakley, for submitting Bia. I hope you like my recreation of her as an arcade mascot. Next up, we got Imiko the Ninja by Selena. This is Imiko, a 13-year-old fire ninja from Japan, well known for having an ability to create fire. Many people called her the Fire Ninja, living with her mom and her two siblings, one brother and one sister, who are also ninjas. Imiko is the youngest child in her family, and when it comes to her personality, she is honest, chill, and loyal. Something about this character just caught my eye. Her design is really cool and cute. I love the hair color. I'm usually not really familiar with working with the color orange. So this also gives me a challenge. And while she's like so chill and laid back, she has all these fiery flames behind her. It just, it's great. Another thing that I'm absolutely loving about this design is her hair. Her buns are so fluffy like a poodle dog. It is adorable. Though as much as I love those aspects of her, when it comes to her outfit in general, I think there's a lot of changes to be made. Specifically because her outfit doesn't really scream ninja to me. You know what I mean? So that's mainly what I'm focusing on for this design. I will say, I don't think I've ever actually drawn a ninja before, or at least I don't remember doing so. Which is why I used Google and Pinterest. Seriously, if you're an artist and you don't use Pinterest, use it now. It will save you. As you can see, there is many varieties of female ninja outfits. So it's definitely not just limited to like that one full bodysuit that I see everywhere. You can get really creative with it, and a lot of them look super cool. Instead of her having a t-shirt with a flame on it, I gave her this ninja yeah. costume type shirt because I don't know how to describe it. The sleeves are cut off in a triangular shape and it's buttoned down the middle. As you can see in the middle, I replaced her brown belt with this orange belt that is made of more a cloth fabric. And at the bottom of the belt, the rest of that shirt comes out and it's long and frilly. It's supposed to represent her skirt in the original, but I wanted to make it look more, it's like actually part of the costume. On her collar, I also put a flame decoration that's hanging from a piece of string. And another thing that I really liked about the original was how long her sleeves are. So I maximized that with mine and I made it a lot more dramatic. I think it makes her outfit looks so much cooler and in a lot of ninja outfits they have this ribbon attached to the sleeve so I put that as well. Emiko has red shorts connecting to the rest of her outfit and then I basically left the orange sock the same but it made it a little more shiny and bright and then I just didn't put a sock on the other one. I've actually seen many ninja outfits where they're not technically wearing shoes it's more like this thing where the toes and the heel is poking out so I did give her those instead because I feel like it helps her move more freely and since Emiko was so chill I just feel like she'd be the one person to walk everywhere with no shoes. Selena did give her a band-aid, which I think makes a lot of sense for Imiko's character since she is a kid, she's probably prone to getting uh, hurt more. Not to mention band-aids are just really cute, which is why I decided to put a band-aid on her nose. Even though I don't draw noses. Just pretend it's there. Last but not least, I made her fire flame power. Yes, fire flame. Same thing. Um, I made it coming out of her sleeves. I think it looks so cool that way. Like She just has these giant flowy sleeves and then her fire powers are just flowing from that. I don't know, it just looks so majestic and cool to me, so I had to do it like that. As for the colors, I generally just
just made everything more brighter and I kind of had to mess around a lot with them because again, I am not familiar with this color palette. But hey, for someone who never uses the color orange, I think I did a pretty good job. I absolutely love the pose that I gave her. It looks so cool and she really does look like a ninja. By the way, yes, I did use reference for the pose. There's no way I could draw this without one. In general though, this is definitely one of my favorite drawings that I have made, period. I love it so much and it is for sure my favorite in this video. Thank you so much, Selena, for submitting Imiko the Fire Ninja. Your character is very cool and I hope you love this redesign as much as I do. All right, broskies, that was me drawing and redesigning three of your really cool gacha OCs. This is honestly one of my favorite series that I've done, and I'm having so, so much fun with it. I love seeing all of your characters and concepts. Be sure to give this video a huge thumbs up so that I can do a part three. And the next part is actually going to be involving my Discord server. The link to my Discord is in the description. And there in the gacha OCs channel, you all can submit your characters for a chance for me to draw them in the next video. So go join. Comment your favorite that I drew in this video. Thank you again, Broski, so much for watching, and okay, bye!